personal liability of agent. Only the principal can enforce and held liable on a contract entered by the agent. An agent, however, can be personally liable in the following cases. Expressly stated in contract, the agent becomes personally liable where contract expressly contains such clauses. When the agent acts for a foreign principal, when the contract is made by an agent for sale of or purchase of goods for a merchant residing abroad, the agent is personally liable. He can exclude his personal liability by express provision to this effect in the contract. If he does so, he cannot be sued on the contract. When agent acts for an undisclosed principal, where an agent acts for an undisclosed principal, he is personally liable. The principal on being discovered is also liable to third parties. When agent acts for a principal incompetent to contract, where the principal is incompetent in to enter into a contract, the agent is personally liable where agent signs a contract in his own name. An agent who signs a contract in his own name without qualification, that is without disclosing that he is acting as an agent, though known to be an agent, is understood to have contracted personally. Where agent acts for a non-existent principle. This is rather peculiar case. The promoters of a company yet to be incorporated sometimes enter into contracts on behalf of the company, though in such case the alleged principle, that is the company, has no legal existence till the time of incorporation. In such a case, the promoter are held to have contracted on their own account and are personally liable where agent acts without authority, where a person acts as an agent but has no authority or exceeds his authority, he is personally liable for breach of warranty of authority to the third party. Where he receives or pays money by mistake or fraud, where an agent receives money from a third party by mistake or fraud, he is personally liable to the third party. Likewise, he has the right to sue the third party for the recovery of the money where he has paid it by mistake or under fraud of the third party. Where his authority is coupled with interest, in such a case he may sue or be sued only to the extent of his interest in the subject matter where the trade usage or custom makes him personally liable, where there is a trade usage or the custom making the agent personally liable, he is liable unless there is a contract to the contrary. Special principle, where the principle cannot be sued, for example, foreign sovereigns, ambassadors, etc. Principle not disclosed, where the agent signs a negotiable instrument without specially mentioning that the, he is acting as an agent. Government servant, where a government servant enters into a contract on behalf of the central government in dis disregard of Articles 299-1 of the Constitution of India. Rights of person dealing with agent personally liable. Hold agent and principal liable. Where the agent is personally liable, a person dealing with him may hold either agent or his principal or both of them liable. Hold principal liable. When a person who has made contract with an agent induces the agent to act upon the belief that the principal only will be held liable, he cannot afterwards hold the agent liable. Hold agent liable. If he induces principal to act upon the belief that the agent only will be held liable, he cannot afterwards hold the principal liable. 